What's going on guys? Burger back with more Flexbox Zombies and we are on chapter 8, out of order. Order. We're getting so close to the center of their camp now. Any questions before we move out? Nope, it's going to be a beautiful zombie killing day. It certainly is. Alright, what do we have here? Hmm. We're aiming in the right direction, but our targets aren't lining up with them. Oh, this is new. They've swapped positions. Very deceptive. Fortunately for us, we can fine-tune the order of our targets. Set the male target to order two. Oops. Order two. Okay, I think we'll be able to handle this just fine. The order setting applies directly to each target. So as long as our targets match, the zombie's order will still win. Look out behind you, here comes some more. <clears throat> Target female. The order setting depends on the direction you're aiming. On this wave, the female is actually first, but she's moved further away from you with a higher order of two. For reals though, kid, this shows an impressive level of sophistication. I am both terrified and aroused. Get ready, more are on the way. Ah, this reminds me, I had a smart young student get eaten alive from a very similar wave to this. She forgot which direction she was shooting. Now that they're changing order on us, it's especially important to keep in mind. Alright, make your goo target move to the end with an order one. You catch that? The Order 1 still sent the goo zombie to the back, just like Order 2 would have. The takeaway here is that the higher the order, the further it will move away from you. In fact, any zombie with an order of 1 or higher gets sent to the back of the line behind the zombies that don't have an order setting. Watch. Set both your targets for those goo zombies to an Order 1. And they'll move behind the male target since he doesn't have an order specified. Having an order is a nice strategy. As long as their order is one or greater, it moves the zombie further away from your crossbow compared to zombies that don't have an order. Another way to think of this, think of it, is the default is order zero. Oh, now that's just downright stoic. Our little goo friend here is taking one for the team. Setting his order to negative one, like that, makes him jump to the closest position, ready to be the first to take the heat. Admirable, that. Negative one. Any zombie that has a negative order will get placed before zombies without a specified order since their default order is zero. Shame to have to kill such a noble creature. Ah, now these ones are working together. The higher the order, the further away they get to be from our deadly crossbow. That female is even using order one. Ladies first. Both the goos are using order two and the male is using order three. Your targets will seem out of order until they all in order properly. So target female one is order one, he said. Goo is order Two, and then the male is order three. So they'll always line up according to their order. In ascending order, lowest first, highest last. Zombies like those two goo ones who have the same order setting will be next to each other in the original order in which they have arrived. Alright, cool. I can see order being pretty useful. Yeah, me too. It looks like it's something they've evolved recently and are still learning how to use it against us. You ready to t tackle anything they throw at us? Absolutely. Good. Now make sure you follow orders. See what I did there? Wow. Who would have thought dad jokes would survive the apocalypse? Alright, let's go. Hold up. Quick reminder. Zombies line up in ascending order. The lower the number, the closer they'll be to you. Zombies without an order are treated the same as the ones with order zero. Got it. Let's go. All right, so we got to do the whole thing here. Display flex, and then we have to do align items. 
Uh, flex end. Nope. Flex start. And then the target of the goo needs an order of one. No. An order of negative one. And then these need to be align. No. Justify content flex end. All right. Now we got to worry about this guy. Align self stretch. And then. Um, oh, shoot. He's number one, the goo, negative one. Let's just try one. Nope. Let's try zero. So it is negative one. A line self is set to stretch, and he's not growing. So what's the hint here? The first zombie there looks to be growing at a rate of one. I didn't know he was growing, but okay. Looks like you are great shooting. I'll still call out any flex basis I see for you. That goo zombie there looks like it's got a flex basis of 350 picks. So we'll do that first. Flex basis, 350 pixels. All right, now we gotta do this part. Display, flex, flex direction. Row reverse and then justify content is going to be flex. Uh, let's try a, it's not center. Flex end. No, it'll be flex start. This goo, we're going to do order one. So that put it right. So line items center that was wrong let's try center here and flex start here and then align self flex end heck yeah I didn't even need any help with that one beauty do you remember what kind of order makes things jump to the front of the line? Yes, I do. All right, so display flex, display flex, flex direction, column reverse. All right, uh, justify content center. Why is that pushing? Oh, all right. So align items should be center, I believe. And then we got to target this goo order to the front of the line, the highest number. So let's do one. Nope, zero negative one all right so that's right so now we got to do a line self stretch um, align items I think this should be no let's put that as center and change this one to flex in Oh, I didn't need that at all. Good, you were listening. You got this one. Goo's got a narrow flex basis. So flex basis 75 picks. All right, and he needs to be order one. This needs to be display flex flex direction is column 
and then a line item. I don't know. Should it be justify or a line first? I forget. Justify items flex start. No, it's not going to be flex start. It's going to be a line items flex end. Not flex end. Not center, it's not flex end. I think it is flex end. Flex end. That's not right. But we gotta do something else to this. Flex grow one. Alright, so we got that guy. Now we just gotta figure out how to get the zombie. And I think it's flex. It's not justify items. Justify content. That's why it's not working. That's not working still. It's not center. Do stretch, 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 stretch. That would be another aligned self, but if we don't do a sh stretch, heck yeah, spot on. Watching you snipe them like that makes me sure glad I'm not a zombie. Seeing them work as a team makes me smile every time. Only hint for me is that they're starting with an order of one and that any of your targets with a positive order will jump to the back until they all have an order applied. Until they all have an order applied. So target female. Female is order two. Target male is order one. And the goo is order three. And then we gotta do our regular flex, oh, display flex. And then we gotta do, um, we don't gotta do flex direction, we're already there. We gotta do justify content, center, no, not center, space evenly. And then align items center uh, it's not space evenly maybe space between it's not space between space around heck yeah that was easy oh yeah great job remembering justify content space around been a while since they tried that old trick just the male and the goo are using order on this one, starting at a value of one. So the male would be order one, and the goo will be order two. And we gotta set our crossbow, display flex, um, justify content, flex end, items center and then the goo here we gotta flex grow one and that should be that nailed it once again that female is being brave jump to the front like that hey now there's another interesting fact changing the order has no effect on the nth of type target selector so even after the female jumps to the front target and of type still targets the first goo zombie not her good to know so this is targeting the first goo this is targeting the female 
Um, so order one on the zombie female. Display flex. Um, justify content. Flex start. Not flex start. Flex. It's not flex in. It's flex start. Start. Align items. Flex start. So negative one. And then align self. Flex end. And then we have to do flex grow two, I think, because this one's growing. All right, let's try one. Flex grow one. What am I missing here? The, the zombie and the last goo are targeted. So something here with this guy. Flex shrink zero. And I think we got it, guys. Great job, kid. Looks like they're retreating for now. That's right. They better run. I wouldn't be too happy about it. Retreating from a losing battle is a wise tactic. Besides, before Dave turned into a zombie, we'd play chess all the time. Often he'd feign pulling back to give me a false confidence, only to unleash his full strategic attack his next few moves. I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what he's doing now. Oh, well, it's working. I feel like we're unstoppable. That's exactly how we want you to feel. Don't buy into it or you'll let your guard down. Let's camp for the night and continue the fight tomorrow. We're almost at his doorstep. Alright guys, that's the end of chapter 8 and I feel like I got ordered down. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next one. Bye!